Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a full review with details on all the abilities and looks of every character in the Jujutsu Kaisen Hero Pack, which is a hero pack for Fisk Heroes on version 1.7.10. Now, in case you aren't aware, I am the developer for this pack, so I did make all of this. Um, but I thought it's about time I finally made a showcase for it, because I've seen a few, but any that I've seen showcasing any of my packs always has something wrong with it, some form of misinformation, even if not on purpose, so I thought, hey, it's finally time that I make and release my video showcasing my packs uh, with everything completely correct, so all the information I give is of course straight from the developers so it's all a hundred percent true um, yeah so today's video will be on the Jujutsu Kaisen hero pack as you can see here with all of these characters uh, but I do have some two other packs released right now um, but I won't be reviewing them today uh, another time uh, yeah so let's just get into it so we're gonna start off with the most basic suits and work our way up slowly um, yeah, so here we have some sorcerers. As you can see, uh, the items, they're all the same looking, and they have different numbers. So the main difference here is their stats, like the damage reduction, their punch damage, their weapon damage, their speed. It all changes depending on which grade you're using, and in Jujutsu Kaisen, it starts off here with grade 4. So if we put this on, you can see quite simply what it looks like. Um, and each one has a different weapon. So at grade four, you get a compound bow, uh, and of course the ability to turn it horizontal. Uh, you will need a quiver to use a bow, so it's not the most helpful uh, off the bat, but every sorcerer has the ability to charge cursed energy, which looks like this. Um, yeah, so all of this does is increases your punch damage by a decent amount. Uh, so if we summon some zombie pigments here, you can see without cursed energy, you do about five damage with this suit. So it's it's decent, um, but with cursed energy, fully charged of course, you can see it does about eight. So it's a bit of a bonus. Nine there, three hits. So it saves you one hit there. A uh, bit of a bonus. I do really like how the effect turns out. Um, some people will notice if you right click it does this that does not have enough range to do any damage to anything even if you're right in front of it <clears throat> uh, just it wasn't fully able to be cancelled so yeah that is the grade 4 for grade 2 you have a tactical tonfa so this time a melee weapon with a bit of damage um, and you can see when you have the weapon equipped, you don't have the ability to charge Cursed Energy. That is on purpose. So basically, you can choose one or the other. Uh, the bonus of Cursed Energy is that there will be some suits that take more damage from players using Cursed Energy. So uh, if I once I've got some Curses in, when you use Cursed Energy, it will deal extra damage to Curses. Uh, as opposed to the normal mobs. So maybe you'll stick with your melee weapon for normal mobs and use uh, your charge curse energy for curses, but it's entirely up to you. Other than that, just a bit of stats with the grade 3 here. Um, up to grade 2, difference is bow staff. That's about it. Same stuff, got your charged cursed energy, right? Just working your rank, uh, your way up the ranks. Uh, and here we finally have the scimitar. So the uh, sword kind of weapon, right? This is the grade one sorcerer. Uh, the way you go of achieving all of these through the hero pack is the Jujutsu Sorcerer node, and you pick up the Jujutsu Sorcerer grade four. So these are progressive, so you start off with some basic stuff, and you can unlock the next sorcerer, which requires another group node, and then this for more damage reduction, right? And then this one, just requires more melee defense nodes, and then this one will also require another group as it ups the damage reduction. So that's basically how the progression of getting the suits in survival mode goes. 
uh, let's go next to uh, let's go next to Yut uh, Itadori Yuji or Yuji Itadori. Um, so he's very simple. He just has a bit of enhanced speed uh, because he a bit of a, he's a bit of a, a fast guy. You introduce him, he's running about the same as a car. So 60 kilometers an hour here. Uh, yeah, he's pretty fast. He's got some enhanced perception as well. Um, and then, of course, charge cursed energy. However, when we charge for cursed energy, you will notice a new keybind appear when it's fully charged called Black Flash. This keybind, when you click it, temporarily flashes your cursed energy red, and it will deal extra damage. So, uh, oh, come on. That's, wow. That's uh, an interesting bunch there. So, as a damage display, we have... Your 10 damage for full charge cursed energy and a two hit stuff, right? Uh, let's get rid of this garbage. And then if I uh, activate the black flash, oh, I mistimed that. And he was already fully dead. Okay, let's try it again over here. And there he goes one full complete hit so it will kill most normal uh, minecraft mobs with a black flash um, if they're 20 HP mobs but you have to time it right so there we go so the whole point of black flash is to get the timing right and the cooldown is very uh, quick um, so if I uh, what's it called let's see if I activate my enhanced perception here and then click the key, I can punch and time it a little better. Uh, however, this of course only works in uh, single player unless there is nobody near you in multiplayer. Yeah, that's about it. Just time your uh, punches right. Recently updated so his shoes are uh, red at the top because I had forgotten that before. But other than that, that yeah, that's... Uh, Itadori. So let's move on to, uh, let's go to Gojo here. So he's got an alt for his school version and his normal version, right? So this is what the normal version looks like. You're going to see a lot of abilities, and when I click my open mask ability, he will remove the blindfold, right? And it will switch up some abilities, which most packs have forgotten to mention for some reason. But I'm going to do the showcase with the school variant, of Gojo because this is the one that I've been using for most of my testing. Although they are exactly the same, it is just an alt you get in the suit iterator. So for your first ability, you have, well that's weird, you have Lapse Blue. So as you can see, it is just a telekinesis type ability um, because Lapse Blue is pulling things and Reversal Red is pushing things away. So yeah. Lapse blue, simple as that. Reversal red, we have here, is an aim and a right click with a bit of a cooldown. And it will fire a damaging blast, which will, of course, deal damage. It's as simple as that. Uh, the next ability I'm going to showcase is super speed. Very simple, he just runs fast. This is because of limitless. And space manipulation is a knockback ability. So you will see a quick um, little beam there that does one damage because I couldn't make it do nothing. And when your cooldown there is completely uh, filled up, you'll be allowed to use it again. But it's basically just a big knockback beam. Um, next we have Limitless. So when you're holding this, you take no damage at all. Uh, you gain the ability to teleport. Uh, you can still use the knockback ability, and you still have access to super speed. However, with limitless manipulation, you get the unique ability to fly. Uh, you can only fly, however, so long as you're holding the key. As you can see, as soon as I let go, I lose the ability to fly. So that is an interesting thing to note. Gojo also has... Uh, let's see bunch of abilities here. I can't remember if I added... No, it doesn't look like it. So, you will still take fall damage, I believe. Um, 
which I may change before releasing this, but I may not. We'll see. However, this, vi this video will uh, be uh, released onto YouTube at the same time as this update releases. So whatever I choose will be there. Um, you can also see when I hold shift, though, you get reverse curse technique. So I'm going to go into survival here. Uh, and have this guy beat me up a little. As you can see with Limitless on, he does absolutely nothing and my shield bar doesn't go down, uh, showing it is truly Limitless. But let's take a little bit of damage here. Um, some people ask, why isn't Limitless a instant thing, or a, a thing that's always happening, right? Because it just doesn't work like that. You can't make a force field go on infinitely. That's just how it is. Um, and also, it provides a little bit of a skill barrier um, as well. So, uh, let's actually fly over here for a little bit and showcase one ability, which is if I remove my glasses or blindfold, whichever suit you're using, and I hold shift, I have some new abilities. Enhanced perception, which is a slow motion, and we have hollow purple. So first, let's show off the reverse curse technique, which is available in both uh, the blindfolded and non-blindfolded mode. When you click V, you will heal a set amount of health quickly, and you can see you have a little bit of a cooldown. Once this cooldown is done, you can just click it again and heal. Simple as that. Uh, and when you have your blindfold off, you can activate hollow purple, which in first person, looks like this. Very simple. Uh, that's There's not much else to it. It's just a big laser beam pretty much. Uh, however, I will show it off here is you have the red and blue in each hand and then a beam. Uh, I was trying to put it behind you originally but it wasn't working so you have it in your hands. Hopefully that gets fixed later. As of right now, that's how it looks. That's, uh, that's about it for Gojo, though. So let's move on to Yuta. So for Yuta, he has his own sword, you can see right there. Yuta's katana. However, when you're using Yuta's katana, you have the ability to infuse cursed energy. So by holding this key, you infuse his special pink cursed energy into the sword and your fists. And when you're doing this, you deal more damage. So if I spawn a few quick uh, zombie pigmen, you can see he does a base of 6 or 7. With the katana, he does about 12. And infusing the cursed energy into the katana, he does about 16. So all in all, not bad damage. Uh, got some pretty good damage on Yuta. However, that is not it. Because... He also has Cursed Speech. Now you can see if I activate Cursed Speech here, you give him the microphone that he uses, the Inumaki microphone. And this gives him the ability to use Cursed Speech, which is kind of like the Canary Cry. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the best at being shown off in first or third person, uh, as you can see, because you don't see the side of the microphone. But, oh well. The last ability you have is Summon Rika. So let's show this off really quick. And there's Rika. It's a quick, nice little model here. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, if you're in my Discord server, by the way, you will have seen lots of sneak peeks of this and Maharaga being made, as well as one more thing for Gojo that I forgot to show off, that I'll show off in a minute. Um, yeah, so this is... Rika, and Rika works kind of like tentacles, so you can send Rika forward to slash at your enemy doing 13 damage, or alternatively, you can grab someone with Rika. Uh, if I can hit them, there we go. So you have Rika grabbing them, you can choose how close and how far Rika is with your mouse wheel, and I'm pretty sure, yes, depending on how close they are, you can use your cursed speech to eliminate them while Rika holds them in place. So pretty powerful move right there, some combo potential, I guess. But yeah, that's about it for Yuta. 
Um, so yeah, let's hold on and really quickly go show off Gojo's last ability, which is Infinite Void, his domain expansion. So unfortunately, this one is purely visual. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Hopefully I can get it to do something in the future, but as of right now, it is purely visual. Uh, however, anyone inside the domain expansion, everything will be really dark for them. You will be able to see fine because for Gojo, when you uh, take off the glasses or blindfold, as you can see in the building behind me, right over there, uh, you get a full night vision. So even in your domain, you can see perfectly. However, everyone else, it will seem almost pitch black. So uh, it provides you vision while everyone else gets pretty crappy vision to fight you with. So kind of a bonus there. But if we summon, uh, where is it? If we summon the infinite void here, you will see I have created my domain around us. So this is essentially a shadow dome. If I hold my limitless flight and fly up, you can see it looks a little odd from the outside. Um, but yeah, if I deactivate it and let's just go fly up over here and activate infinite void, just so you can see the texture a little better. Here it is. Now this is the infinite void texture that I was showing off in the Discord server in the Sneak Peeks channel a while ago. Um, and yeah, it is just his domain expansion. That's about it. It's a shadow dome, so everyone else inside will be pretty much blinded while you are able to see everyone perfectly and can attack with little to no resistance uh, as so long as they can't see you. Now, finally, uh, Maharaga. Now, his progression is a little different uh, in the JJK pack. Because as you can see here, we have your basic characters like Itadori with his black flash. We have Yuta, who requires uh, the cursed spirit of Rika. And Gojo requires domain expansion and all this other stuff, right? However, for Maharaga, you need the eight-handled wheel, right? And it's a little long because of his title, so you can't really see it that well, but... These are his stuff, not much. However, Maharaga's adaption is quite tough. So instead of making everything adapt over time, you start with the adaptions, but you have to unlock them, which is where you come to this divine adaption node, right? It gives you a quest to kill a bunch of mobs to fight something with all kinds of damage types. And once you've completed this, you'll get the ability to unlock the adapted Maharaga. So he is about the same as normal Maharaga. However, if you check in the MetaHuman log where it shows abilities, you can see adaptive physiology and adapted physiology. The only difference is that one Maharaga here, which is defined by the stars on the icons, the item icons in the inventory, one is, as you can see here, adapted and just the normal Maharaga, he has adaptive physiology and adapted physiology. So the difference between this is just damage resistances, or immunities. So adaptive is, he's got some immunities, like cursed energy does no extra damage to him, and energy damage and explosion, fire damage, projectile damage does nothing to him, and he also is completely immune to fall damage. However, when you get to the fully adapted Maharaga, his regeneration, as you can see, ups from plus 150% to plus 250%, and also gains immunities to all sorts of damages that you would have previously fought once going through the quest to adapt him right here. Which is how I've come up with the neat uh, little adaption thing. So you can adapt Maharaga's abilities to unlock the adapted Maharaga with more immunities. So let's throw off just your base Maharaga here. We got some nice models, and I will say I really like how these turned out. I recreated the Minecraft feather texture to put on the wings, uh, just to add that nice little Minecraft touch to it. 
and we've got his head and tail here as well as the eight handled wheel which I modeled myself of course all of this was modeled by myself and I think it turned out really nicely now one of the very neat features about Maharaga um, we'll get into in a second here but first of course he's got his toggle blade now this blade has a specific damage type which is not uh, mentioned in here at all but it uses positive energy so any, any cursed spirit will take extra damage from this um, because there are no cursed spirits in the pack however yet you won't see much of this however Yuta when Yuta has his Rika summoned so normal Yuta like this but as soon as you summon Rika you will take extra damage from any Maharaga user using the cursed blade right this blade right here so as soon as Maharaga enables this blade it will deal extra damage to anyone using Yuta as long as they have Rika summoned so you will lose your ability to grab and slash from a bit of a distance but you'll take less damage so let's just spawn three zombie pingmen right here and you can see his damage is 10 so he's pretty strong and with the blade it's about 14 yeah 14 there so pretty solid damage here for Maharaga he's quite a strong character um, oh geez lots of stuff but yeah so that's uh, the main Maharaga uh, and he is exactly the same abilities wise as the adapted one that you can see I'm wearing right now so exactly the same however the final feature of Maharaga is the wheel now if I go into survival and place down a zombie pigment here you can see he also has two rows of hearts in which he will naturally regenerate however when you take damage as Maharaga now this is the most interesting part that took so long to get working once you deal damage or take damage the wheel will turn and of course this doesn't actually adapt you to the damage because you have to go through the whole quest process but the wheel spins every time you take damage which I just think is such an amazing little neat feature to have uh, for this pack so I'm very happy with how that turned out other than that the wheel glows in any dark spaces um, and as you can see here it glows in dark spaces or any space in general but the wheel glows right so very neat little detail there but very worthwhile in the end um, so yeah that's uh, that's about the whole pack He's, um, of course, got leaping, so does uh, Yuji Itadori. He's got leaping as well. Uh, but yeah, that is every character in the JJK hero pack. Um, and this update with Maharaga and Yuta, as well as the rework for some Gojo abilities and a texture update for Yuji is about to release. Uh, it should be releasing with this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something. I will be leaving a, a, a link in the description for this pack and hopefully the Discord as well. Uh, however, the Discord is linked on all the sites, uh, Curse Forge and Planet Minecraft, where this pack is. So if you can't find it in the description for some reason, it will be there as well. But yeah. That'll do it for this video, and I uh, hope you guys subscribe and look forward to the next video where I will showcase one of my other two packs, being a Naruto and Boruto pack, as well as just Mr. Mu Heroes, which is Attack on Titan and other assorted random characters. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a great day.